Get up, get out, get around, and do it, do it! <laughs> How's everyone doing today? I'm doing well. Thank you for asking. Guys, how do you like that? That's right, guys. It's time for another episode of The Everyday Kitchen. The Everyday Kitchen. The Everyday Kitchen. The Everyday Kitchen. I hope you're ready for this. This is going to be amazing. Just like everything else that I cook, it's going to be amazing. Something pretty simple, though. Let's take a gander, shall we? Boy, boys. Where was I? Before my wife so rudely interrupted me with a phone call. Uh, I don't even know where I was. Okay, here we are. What we're going to make today is... Let me show you. Boom! We're going to make a little bit of fried cabbage. We're going to have some green bell pepper, some onion, some smoked sausage. This is made with a chicken, a beef, and a pork. You know why I get that? Because it's cheaper. And we got the little vegetable medley here. It has zucchini and squash and carrots and cauliflower and broccoli, all that in there. We have some fire roasted diced tomatoes. We have some minced garlic. All that good stuff. So, that is the plan for today's episode. It should be good. I like this kind of stuff. Good stuff. I'm going to put hot sauce on it and all that good stuff and be like, mmm, mmm. I love it. Let's get excited together. And cut some of this stuff up. <coughs> Not COVID. Let's cut some of this stuff up, shall we? Come on! Let's go ahead and cut a little onion. Hi, little onion. How you doing? Well, I'm doing pretty good. Until you just cut me. Ow, oh, help me. Help somebody. Sorry. You're going to be consumed. I'm going to consume you. You're a consumable. Oh, you cut me in half, you son of a gun. Yep. I'm going to eat you, boy. I'm going to eat you real good. <laughs> Sorry. Come on, onion, work with me here, will ya? Jeez. That's a big old bell pepper right there.
All right, we're going to get ready to throw a couple of things off into the skillet, warming up some oil right now. We're going to go ahead and put some of these off in there. I meant to add this before, but I forgot. Alright guys, we got that stuff simmering on down. We still have to add the cabbage, and we have to add the fire roasted diced tomatoes <clears throat> it'll give it just that little bit of whatever that is that's what it'll give it i think that's what a lot of food misses at home you know when you go out to eat and you eat something good and you're like oh my god that's good good lord that's good Woo! and then you try to do something at home and you cook at home and sometimes there's no flavor no nothing there i think a lot of times we don't put the right ingredients in there and I'm far from and I don't know how to do anything right <laughs> to be honest I you know a lot of the foods I cook uh, sometimes I'm disappointed sometimes I'm like man it don't really have that taste I was going for but uh, and, and then sometimes I make food and I'm like man that tastes really good our food it, it's weird because <laughs> you know you go out to eat and you can eat a chicken breast and you're like dang that's really good and you cook chicken breast at home kind of plain so it's nice to kind of experiment with things and uh you could use this or let me show you what else you could use salsa it doesn't matter a chunky uh thick chunky salsa you can use uh a thick chunky salsa in like spaghetti you could use it in chili you can use it in all kind of stuff, and it gives it that little bit of different flavor. Uh, I've even used some in soup before because I didn't have tomatoes, and uh, it just, you know, it gives it that little something extra. You know, it doesn't overpower it, but it gives it a little different taste. You're like, mm, that's pretty good. So you got to learn to compromise and throw some things in and try stuff. I'm one of those people that if it's in my cupboards or or my refrigerator or something it's going in um, there's no rhyme nor reason and a professional chef would look at me and be like what is this guy doing well that's how I do it I think that I think you get some of your best results that way stuff's cooking down good we're gonna go ahead and cut the cabbage let's do that Uh, let's see, let's go this way. There we go.
right guys we're heading down the home stretch you see how incredibly easy that is to make look at all that goodness in there that's gonna be good guys it's gonna be good cabbage is good for you all the vegetables and stuff I put in there give it for you the onions and peppers all that's good only thing that's not as good is the meat that I put in and maybe the can of tomatoes but that's that's not really a big issue right we still got our no salt going on good stuff still got to throw some black pepper in there still gonna add garlic powder even though we've uh, got some minced garlic in there we're gonna put some Italian seasoning and that'll probably be it I'm gonna let that all cook down a little bit and then we'll be right back <laughs> We're doing good guys we're doing good we're heading down the home stretch almost time to consume consume we all like that part right let's take a little gander over here gander went ahead and threw black pepper on and some Italian seasoning and some garlic powder etc etc looking good looking good all right and as you've seen as you've seen guys is a very simple recipe and that stuff's good and you can use any kind of meat you can put in anything you want that's just what I threw in it's what I had I need to get rid of some of them vegetables and uh, those frozen ones that was in the bag they've been up there for a little while so need to use some of them up of course you can use all kind of fresh stuff if you want that's that's uh, preferred but you know we don't always get to get super fresh produce so and these days we're lucky to get anything right Ooh, fixing to be lucky to be able to afford any kind of meat if you've seen the prices they've doubled here so next thing we're gonna do we're gonna do a little taste test Stick around, guys. This is going to be good. Good. Alright guys, time to give it a try. I'm going to use my no salt, because I know I'm going to want some salt. Well, let's give it a shot. Let's see what she tastes like here. stuff my cabbage has just enough crunch to it still I don't like when cabbage is cooked down too much I don't even like when my vegetables are cooked down too much everything becomes just one big kind of soggy mess mmm mmm Yeah. You can taste the little flavor of the meat coming in through there. Crunchiness of the bell peppers. There's still some crunch there. The onions are cooked down pretty good. But they're not completely wilted away. And the cabbage has still got a good crunch. Good little 
crunch to it. I'm sorry for the shaking. I got the shakes. I've always sh had the shakes for some whatever reason. So that's why sometimes when I'm holding the camera it gets a little crazy and I apologize for that. Mmm. That's good guys. Guess what though? We're gonna kick it up a notch. I'm gonna try I'm gonna use my hot sauce I got the other day. That Marie Sharps habanero pepper sauce. <whistles> Stuff's pretty toasty. It wasn't it didn't taste all that hot on that video where I tried it on where I did the the breakfast burritos. It didn't have that much heat. I even took a spoonful of it. But ever since then, the next day, and then since I've been using it, it's got a kick. I don't know if maybe I got down to the peppers and stuff, but you've seen on the video I shook it up real good and everything. But this stuff's got a little kick, man. It's good. I'm just going to put a little bit. Just put a little bit right here. Kind of spice it up a little bit. Give it a little shot. Looks good already. Mm. That's a pretty stout little, little hot sauce. I mean, it, it, ain't, it ain't playing around. Now we're going to try a little different hot sauce. One that's more familiar. A little Louisiana. I use the small bottles, as you can tell. I have another brand new bottle in the fridge, too. <laughs> I use a lot of hot sauce. We'll put a little bit of this on there. Louisiana hot sauce is a little bit more tame. A little bit different flavor. Mm. Either way, in my opinion, this kind of food, this kind of food needs to have a little, a little hot sauce kick to it. It just tastes so much better to me. I know everybody's not a hot sauce kind of person, but... Mm. Really good. Well, that's all I'm going to do for you today. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you give it a shot. Let me know how you do yours. If you do it, leave some comments some suggestions I'm open to whatever hope you enjoyed everything go check out all my videos I have over 500 videos sharing my channel let's get my channel out there I'm a good positive channel I'm a good chap I need to get some views I need to get some subscribers I need to get some publicity out there I need to get going I want to build a live stream from my phone you got to have a thousand subscribers. I'm a long ways from it. So guys, don't forget. Get up, get out, get rad, do it to it. And enjoy cooking some food or doing anything else that you enjoy, love, as a hobby, as a passion in life. Hope you enjoy the Everyday Kitchen. And we'll see you next time. And I'm about to tear some of this stuff up. See y'all later. Woo! Get up, get out, get ran, and do it to it!